We have left sunny Florida. We're here in the winterland of Milwaukee, and we're ice fishing. We're here with Eric and Don and Big Browns. We're after giant browns. Are they biting, Eric? Well, it's a tough bite, but we are gonna see if we can put the smack down on them today, boys, and catch you guys your PB, some monster browns. 17 pounds, bro, you ready? We can do it, let's go. First fish of the day, Don is hooked up. It's been a bit of a tough morning, but we got one. Yeah. And he looks like he's big, dude. That's it, we'll take one or two big ones, right? That's oh, what yeah. we came oh, here for. We came here for quality. Oh, yeah. The tug is the drug, right? Look at the line going, yes, yes. Oh, he's yes. pulling, he's pulling. Oh, yeah. Dude, what do you think? What do you think, I'm man? I'm thinking big and buddy. You think 15? I'm thinking big and Don, what's your biggest brown? Oh, I'm in all fly rod stuff, so probably eight, nine pounds. Oh, this so is that, it. You know, we, yeah. we gotta, this we is gotta, probably gotta, it, folks. We, we don't have a high, you know, haven't done it through the ice other than smaller stuff back where I am. Normally, when you think about ice fishing, you're like, you know, we'll get them in, like, just pull them up. We could be fighting this fish no, for 30 minutes. Oh, no joke. Oh, yeah, no, dude, this is what we want. I mean, I, you know, I don't want to go tighter. No, 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 no
You know, so a lot of what we use here is uh, for bait wise is, is eggs or uh, minnows, shrimp and stuff like that. But a lot of the eggs and just on a little spawn bag, a little octopus hook, and then we use a fluorocarbon leader. A pound? Uh, usually six or eight pound fluorocarbon leader. You got a little, little split shot here? Yeah, the line's really, really clear. And then we use a little shot to get the spawn bag down. And then you have a hook setting device here. So what you do is you just drop your spawn bag down to the bottom here. And then in the hole itself, take a look, you see this, that's an ice stopper. Your line runs through there. So when your hole freezes up, yeah. right? It doesn't freeze your line. Your line won't freeze in the hole, right? Okay. So this, that allows it to see how it slides up and down right yeah, here. Yeah. See how my line slides right down through it? And this, and then this is thing? basically like a little mouse trap, right? And I say that it's a hook setting device, so it's going to actually set the hook for you, right? And these rods that I design, the hot rods here, they're for hook setting devices. They're not a fiber, they're not a, a graphite rod that could shatter. These are a blend, right? So when the fish pulls down, you know, boom, you set the hook and you've got them. Because a lot of times with trout, they have a really good eyesight and smell. Yeah. So they can see the bait, they'll grab it and spit it. So yeah. when they grab it and spit it, it just sets the hook in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they're on. So. Fish on. Ooh, 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 I didn't whoa, like whoa, that. Whoa. Turn around, give the guy a rod, and, and he's hooked up. Look at that. All right, so I, I was in here. They said, hey, watch the bobber. Sometimes they're just a little bit more sensitive, a little bit more finicky. And so I was literally uh, in here doing just that. And I saw the bobber just, and I was like, I grabbed the rod. It went down and just, I just hammered set up. and I hammered it and just, yes. just reeled hard down hard, food, like, like trying to put it into a tarpon. And you know, with the drag set this way, it doesn't seem like you can really overdo it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Did you see it at all? No, but the bobber stop is sticking around by the hole. So it, it's running, but it's doing circles. I'd say maybe eight or ten pounds. You know, nice, nice fish. fish. Right. Yeah. Hey, that's a pretty bad uh, brown trout by any standard. Yeah. Uh, you know, other than perhaps the standard by which you judge fish on. Uh, we, yeah. I, I'll, I'll take an eight to ten pound brown trout any right. day of the week. We'll take oh no! No! no. Oh, and... He go. He go. No. <laughs> At the hole. Oh. Well, that's the way it works. Yep. That normally doesn't happen, but uh, it just did. So that's a bummer. And he wasn't. It wasn't like he hit no, the edge or anything like no. that. He was still. He, and it didn't break the line. Didn't break anything. He's got, he's got the right angle on the hook. He's that's got it. it. Yeah, he won that one. Can't catch no, them all. No. Fish on. Fish. We were in the hut just talking, get a new minnow on, and this guy just showed up. Oh yeah. You ready, Thir dude? Thirty-five pounder. Well. You see him right there. He's just chilling. I literally, guys, it's like you gotta run as fast as you can. And when you're wearing 1,500 layers like I am right now, you move a. Oh, not oh, a bad, oh, oh, pretty fish. Oh, Real pretty oh, female. Hello. Real pretty female. You don't move very fast. She's fat. Yeah, she is. She's gonna have some eggs in her. Oh, no. Call her a loose mama. Pretty fish. Though. Wow. Pretty oh, dude, look at that. Can you get her on hook real quick? There you go. Just hold her tail up so the eggs yeah, don't all jump out. And then you can let her go when you're ready. But. It's a nice little brown right there. Chunky. Got her in real quick. Not as big as Don's, but it's a good start. Start. Woo. First fish, Eric. Nice job. We'll take it. Hey, it's Bit a slow run. start. We'll take it. But you know what I'm thinking we should do right now? What should we do? Eat. Let's go have a delicious walleye lunch. Breakfast burrito. OK, breakfast is good. I like that. Let's do it. Right now we're cooking our breakfast. We got hash browns, we got eggs, we got sausages. This is the Eric Hadia special. And we're making breakfast burritos. I mean, I think any point in a pork roll is pretty good, but take it. Oh. Dude, we got fish. Me and Don just had to race the rod and I don't know if it's something I'm wearing too many clothes or he's just really fast, but he smoked me. I say it's a combination of both. Is it? I mean, you just look like you're more well fit to run. I, I look like a, like just thick and slow. But we got a giant on here again. Big brown, maybe a steel. I don't think it has the mass of the lot, you know. No, it doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't feel like it, but. Yeah, if you get a logger, one close. No, no, we'll, oh! oh! Gone? 
almost gone. That's two in a row, Donnie. We didn't even get to Don may be faster, more agile, better dressed. But he's lost two fish in a row now, so. <laughs> <laughs> True I story. haven't lost one True yet. Story. I got nothing. I got nothing on that one. You're right. We're doing something very, very special right now. Eric is cooking fresh walleye. Now, walleye, if you guys don't know what it is, it's probably one of the best tasting fish in the world. It's unbelievable. And we're about to eat some. And look at that meat. Oh. Try some, right? Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're just cooking up some walleyes. I don't really have anything fancy today because I wasn't too prepared, so I've just got some fillets here. And really all I'm doing is just packing them down right into the breadcrumbs with my hand and then pulling them out like that and just putting them right in butter and we're pan frying them. Simple. It's been over 10 years since I had a piece of walleye. And the last time I had it was just Fantastic, and here we go. I'm so excited right now. Ha 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 But delicious. And there's a good reason why everyone wants to kill walleye. They are tasty. They are tasty. Oh my god. Oh! No! We got a bird to the ice! What, what a beauty! Dude. Oh my gosh! No! No! How is that possible? He must have just swam in the line. Yeah. Poor guy. Wait, what's he doing under the ice? That's beautiful. He's a diver dog. Right. Yeah, oh, I'll put my gloves on. Oh. Well, you, we just got to get them back quick because they're like a federally protected bird. Yeah, that's okay. We've had a pretty awesome day so far. I mean, Don, biggest brown ever. PR, definitely. Epic. By like 2x. Yeah, giant. I mean, we hooked two others. I caught a, you know, a good one, nice one. I mean, like you said, it's anywhere else in the country, that's a exceptional fish. Oh, it's a ridiculous brown by any other standard other than what we saw earlier in the day. Yeah, I mean, it was a tough bite, but we got a couple awesome fish and we had an awesome day with great weather. It's supposed to be a little lousy tomorrow, I think, and I bet you the fish will bite better tomorrow. I hope so, man, I hope so, but we had a great day. We're still waiting here, grinding it out, see if we get one more fish, but I think this is a wrap, so hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you go and follow Eric and Don, their social media links are in the description. Great guys that truly love fishing. Great personalities, always love being around you guys. And also guys, if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button, like this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.